Nakahara and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Local authorities say a shooting this morning in Waianae has left one man dead and three others wounded. Honolulu Emergency Medical Services say they were called to the scene on the 86-900 block of Pokai Kuahibi Place at about 8.35 this morning. They found four men who suffered multiple gunshot wounds, mostly to the upper body. One man in his 30s was dead on arrival. EMS says three other injured men were treated at the scene and taken to a hospital. Two of them, ages 47 and 53, were in serious condition, while 49-year-old man was in stable condition. Honolulu police are investigating. Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi delivered his second annual State of the City address this morning. Today, Blangiardi proposed to end the embattled Honolulu Rail Project in Kaka'ako, two stations short of Ala Moana Center. The plan is subject to the Federal Transit Administration's approval. He said it would create a functional rail system running through Pearl Harbor, the airport, and downtown Honolulu, including all major employment centers. Blangiardi today outlined his top priorities, including public safety, homelessness, and affordable housing. The city's operating budget will be boosted by 14% due to an increase in revenue from property taxes and a new county hotel tax. Under Blangiardi's proposal, the Honolulu Police Department is expected to get the largest increase in funding, about $12 million. The Honolulu Fire Department would see an increase of about $720,000. Meanwhile, other departments such as emergency medical services and two key city departments that address homelessness would see budget cuts. Blangiardi's budget proposal is now before the city council. The council must pass a budget by July 1st. If the panel is unable to pass a revised budget by June 15th, the mayor's proposed budget will be automatically enacted. Visit StarAdvertiser.com to watch a video of the mayor's speech. One Hawaii restaurant owner's trailer full of unique furnishings and restaurant equipment was reportedly stolen in Miami over the weekend with a loss estimated at $200,000. The brazen theft occurred late Saturday night. The 45-foot shipping container was taken from where it was parked in front of the Aoki Group office in Miami. Security cameras show a dark red semi-cab with a white logo on the door pull up to the container and then haul it away. Kevin Aoki of the Aoki Group says many of the items were passed down from his father who started the Benihana restaurant chain. The items included unique whiskeys and motorcycle collectibles to be used at decor at Aoki's new restaurant, Duraku Sushi. The restaurant was scheduled to open this summer in the Kapolei Marketplace. Aoki has 14 restaurants with 8 of them in Hawaii. The Aoki Group is offering a $25,000 reward for the safe return of the container. A Palolo couple is accused of felony labor trafficking. Pomerine Robert and Kevin Robert are suspected of bringing the victims from Guam to Hawaii in August 2021 and forcing them to perform work after taking away their passports. They made their initial appearance at Honolulu District Court Monday via video conference from the courthouse cell block. Both were charged with two counts of first-degree labor trafficking. According to the court documents, the couple allegedly beat a 15-year-old girl and locked her in a bedroom for days. Police say the teen's mother was afraid to intervene at the time. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for Thursday afternoon. The couple is being held at the Oahu Community Correctional Center in lieu of $250,000 aggregate bail each. First-degree labor trafficking is a Class A felony punishable by up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Family and friends are grieving the death of local man Gary Ruby. Police discovered that a bathtub in Ruby's Hawaii Ridge home had been filled with concrete. The Honolulu Medical Examiner's Office found Ruby's body beneath the concrete the next day. Police say Juan Tejero Baron admitted to strangling Ruby with a belt and tried to hide the body in the tub. The 23-year-old Texas man, originally from Colombia, was reportedly staying with Ruby. Baron told detectives that he strangled Ruby after the older man allegedly told him he was HIV positive. Friends and family recalled Ruby as a cultured man, caring and generous. Ruby was born and raised in Montreal, where he attended McGill University and went on to become a lawyer. Baron admitted to fraudulently acquiring Ruby's 2020 Audi and fraudulently claimed to have purchased the Hawaii Ridge home that Ruby bought. Prosecutors charged Baron with second-degree murder, first-degree identity theft, and two counts of first-degree theft after his arrest last week in California. 
For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.